Let's talk a little bit about the flavor sour from a traditional Chinese medicine standpoint. So sour and bitter, some people uh, often interchange those, but they are different flavors. Um, and in fact, sour, the ability to taste sour is the ability to taste acidity. Um, so if you remember to chemistry class where uh, I remember we had to taste a diluted uh, hydrochloric acid um, and we were look to look for the sourness of that. Um, so sour uh, is a feature of fermentation. So I mentioned previously in the salty section um, that there will be a salty flavor. Fermented foods also have a sour element to them. Um, and traditional Chinese medicine, there's lots of health benefits to the flavor sour. It's, it's got the um, flavor, it's got the property of being astringing. So think about the face that you typically think somebody making when they eat something super sour, you kind of get the pucker face. That is the uh, action, uh, one of the actions of sour flavor. Um, so it is helpful for treating things that um, keeping liquids inside the body. So treating urinary incontinence, um, bedwetting, diarrhea, um, excessive sweating, excessive menstrual bleeding. Um, so these are all things that are astringing. Uh, the sourness has an astringing nature to it to address those. Um, also uh, lifting sagging organs, so prolapse, um, hemorrhoids, um, and it's said to help lift uh, flaccid skin as well. So perhaps this is an anti-aging thing, have more uh, sour tasting things. Um, also, with that astringing idea in mind, it's said to gather a scattered mind. So if somebody's feeling very all over the place, um, sour flavor is said to be helpful for that. Um, and it supports liver function, helps to break down dietary fats um, and proteins. So it's helpful, sour flavor is helpful for digesting a very rich and fatty meal. Um, and it can help to cleanse and uh, detoxify the body and um, support a healthy, uh, like if you need a little bit of an appetite stimulant, sour can be helpful for that as well. Um, so some of the foods that are helpful in this particular category, I mentioned the fermented foods. So anything that's uh, pickled as well um, will have a sour nature to it. So uh, pickled things like, uh, or fermented foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, um, those are uh, a poi, uh, uh, those are things that are fermented vegetables uh, that have a sour nature to them. Uh, other fermented foods like kombucha, um, as well as fermented soy products like miso, um, soy sauce, uh, tempeh, and natto um, also have a sour nature to them. Um, the, uh, some other vegetables that are helpful in this category are leek uh, and rhubarb. Uh, fruits. Uh, so thinking about certain uh, fruits, so some of them, the first things that you might think of is lemon and lime. Uh, certainly the citrus does have a sour nature to it. So lemon, lime, um, tangerines, they have a sour nature to them. As well, um, other things like blackberry, raspberry. I love the when I don't know exactly what the uh, flavor of a blackberry. I love blackberries, so sometimes they're super sweet and sometimes you get that one that's really sour. I like that sour taste. Uh, so uh, other ones, huckleberries, hawthorn berries, those are also have a sour nature to them. Uh, olives as well and tomatoes, those have a sour flavor. Um, sourdough bread, it's said right in the name there. Uh, and azuki beans, those are other ones that you can uh, gain the sour element from. And then of course vinegar as well. Um, so incorporating some sour foods uh, for some of these things might be helpful for you.